welcome to my BodyWise uh, tutorial on uh, how to do the Pilates roll-up. Um, it's actually my interpretation of two Pilates exercises kind of combined together, so between the neck pull prep and the full roll-up. Um, I just find this works better for certainly the type of clients that I work with. Um, it's a wonderful exercise for improving the strength of the abdominals um, and also mobilizing the spine. I'm going to go through um, ways of making it a little easier. It does depend a lot on your posture and how your spine moves. Um, if you're quite rigid and quite flat backed, you will find this exercise a little bit harder. So we just have tools that we use to make it a little bit easier if needs be. So I'm going to do the full exercise first. And then I'm gonna show you two different ways to make it easier. One is with a cushion just behind your bottom. And the other one is using a band to assist you with the roll up and the roll down. Using the band is also a great way, not necessarily it makes it easier, but it also really helps you engage these posterior postural muscles of the shoulders because you're working with resistance and pulling the shoulders back and opening the chest. It's a great postural exercise as well if you use the band. So we're going to get started. As always, listen to your body. If there's any issues with your spine um, that you find this exercise is causing you pain or discomfort, then it's maybe an exercise that is not suitable for you or just at this moment in time. You need to start with the legs ever so slightly abducted, all right, so not fully together. And sit up nice and tall. This is the way I like to combine the two exercises. We're not coming over the legs too much to begin with. We're going to start seated. Shoulders are back and down always. Think about your posture and the abdominals engaged. As I breathe out, I think belly button to spine and I just tilt that pelvis and start to roll down through my spine, rolling slowly all the way until my head reaches the floor. Now, I'm not going to let my arms go back too far. What tends to happen is people reach the arms back so far that their ribs pop up. So I think until you've got a really good technique, I encourage people to only take the arms part way back and focus on keeping this connection here. During the breath in through the nose, we head nod and draw the chin in, and I actually start by lifting the head and shoulders to here. Now exhale, encouraging just that rolling up through the spine. Now you can come all the way over towards the ankles as far as it's comfortable, and the breath in is to return to your start posture, sitting up nice and tall. So let's just work through that again a bit more fluidly. Exhaling, belly back to spine, tilting that pelvis back off the sit bones, rolling through that spine, exhaling through the mouth all the way and not letting those arms go too far, keeping your connection. Breathing in through your nose, head nods and tucking the chin in, lifting head and shoulders. Exhale to roll up, coming over towards the ankles. Inhale to sit up tall. So one more, exhale, roll back, slowly, slowly, slowly. Inhaling, head nod. Now, if you're getting stuck here and you're thinking, I cannot roll up, this is where we can bring in the tool of the cushion. So exhaling, coming up, inhale, sit up tall. So what will really help, my friend, it really helps with my clients is I get them to put, not too thick, and you can play around. Some people will use this thickness, some people will need hardly anything, but it's just something that really helps. Just tucked in against the bottom. Don't sit on it, put it against you here. Breathing out again to roll down slowly. Inhaling and exhale to come up and inhale, sit up tall. It just helps, especially if you've got quite an um, accentuated little dotted curve here. It just helps fill that gap and helps with the roll up movement. So that's one way of starting out to getting the exercise a little bit easier. And then you might find that once you get the technique and you get a little bit stronger and more mobility in your spine, you can reduce the cushion size or take it away. The other way um, that I said I was gonna show you is with the band. With the band, just keep the feet against, the legs slightly abducted. Cross the band over and hold it roughly with your hands level with your knees, roughly. The shorter you hold the band, the more assistance it's going to give you. If you want just a little bit of assistance, let it hang loose a little bit, all right? And the same thing again, posture, shoulders back and down. 
I'm gonna breathe out, keeping my hands shoulder width apart, tilt back with my sit bones and roll all the way down. Make sure the shoulders come down into the mat, bringing up your chest. You don't let the band ping the shoulders up. Inhaling again, head nod, head and shoulders. Now, on the exhale, I'm going to start to open my arms so I'm assisting my body pulling. Keep the hands low though and sit up tall. Inhale to release the tension on the band. It is important that when you come up, you turn your hands ever so slightly downwards and open. All right, feeling these muscles here working. What can happen with the band, you can do it uncrossed, but when you do it uncrossed, what I tend to find people do is they do this and they put so much tension in their neck and shoulders that are making the exercise worse, not easier. By crossing the band, you work those posterior shoulder muscles and you assist a little bit. You might choose to do a combination of the two and pop the cushion there as well. All right, so again, we're gonna breathe out to roll down, opening that chest, breathing in, tucking the chin and lifting the head and shoulders, exhaling, opening those arms to sit up and release. So there you have it. It's a combination of the neck pull prep and the full roll up. Um, using tools to make it a little bit easier to work with your spine um, and any needs that your body has. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you have, and I'll see you soon. Bye.